horoscope is the map of karma which indicates both good type of karma and bad type of karma to alleviate the result of bad type of karmas we can do good karmas and such great karma is visiting temple because temple is a sacred space with energy visiting there does not only purify our body bodily purification is of utmost importance but it also purifies our soul and our karma as well like you see energy is everywhere but it manifests at some places you see inner core of earth is hot but the manifestation happens in volcanoes in the same way energy is all over the world but the manifestation of energy particularly and very prominently happen in temples some temples are established by gods some temples are established by kings both of these places as the temples gain popularity and prominence is indicative that this place is having a lot of power so when we visit the temple we come in contact with the power and it burns our bad karmas and gives us purity with this purity not only we get a positive approach towards life but also the planetary afflictions and difficulties from life is reduced and visiting temple gives rise to satguna because of that we further commit good karmas also and makes our life good because as we interact with satguna we also commit good kriyaman karmas which eventually fructifies in our future right now the purpose of visiting the temple or the interval of visiting the temple depends on how close you live to the temple so once a year once in 12 years once in 10 years one once every year once in two month once in six month once a week any of this frequency you can choose as per your schedule regarding these temples but you see this have to be with respect to the place right if you are living 500 to 1000 kilometers from the temple yearly visiting is recommended so it's not like the person have to visit daily but you should visit a temple at least 3 to 4 times to be able to actually you know grasp the energies of the temple to work over you merely visiting the temple single time is not enough that is one point secondary point is that the pilgrimage the process of pilgrimage is that first of all you will plan your journey and while planning your journey you will let everyone know that you are traveling to the pilgrimage and the greatness of the god you will tell to everyone around you this you will do before traveling while traveling you will be reading about the dt puranas related to dt chanting mantra related to dt have to be done and in between also you will tell everyone that you are visiting the temple the glory of the god you will have to tell to everyone now when you go to any pilgrimage at least you should stay there for 3 days one night at least in that 3 day and one night there should be a water body near the pilgrimage you should take bath in the pilgrimage and take the darshan of the deity go to the temple once a day while staying there for 3 days while going to the temple chanting the mantra of the deity is highly beneficial and all these 3 days and one night till you stay in the place singing the glories of the god telling people about god chanting the mantra of the god doing the stotras of the god right distributing and reading literature photos etc of the god is highly beneficial as you come from the place if some prasadam is offered you should take it for everyone take it for your daily consumption also and even while traveling back to your home you should tell about the temple and your experience to everyone make a social media post educate people about the deity elucidate about the deity will be very good now if one wants to get the blessings of the deity permanently then one should take a photo of idol or the temple 
with themselves and that they should place in their temple personal home temple and in that home temple while worshiping just meditate for some odd one minutes imagine as if you are in the temple itself and then chant mantra do stotras related to the deity daily in your worship this is a this is the process of visiting the pilgrimage and as you do like this two to three times the energies of the temple purificatory energy sattvic energies will start working on you and the planets will start improving bad karmas the result of the bad karmas will be lightened upon you and you will commit good deeds which will improve your future so this is what needs to be done and today in this video i will talk about the temples related to sanavat jyotisham pratyaksha shastram surya chandrama yatra sakshin jyotish is a shastra which is pratyaksha can be seen through the eyes and sun and god so the sun and moon are the gods which are testimony to it suryam pratyaksha devam sun is the deity which can be seen through naked eyes now you see you see many gods are mentioned in rigveda vedas many gods are mentioned vedas puranas brahman vedas puranas many gods are mentioned when you come to upanishads there is only brahm this brahm is different from the deity brahma when you come to puranas the deities are changed the role of the deities are also changed the hindu worship method hinduism is greatly transformed by sankaracharya and the great sankaracharya for every hindu householder recommended panchayatan worship in this panchayatan worship is divided into five sections of shiva narayan devi ganesha and surya now in this panchayatan worship the surya worship is now almost lost but in ancient times it was very prominent even nowadays in bihar sun worshipers are there there is a lineage of priests who have been worshiping sun god known as mag brahmins they are there in bihar up and they were traditional sun worshipers now the point is i believe that you see we have always heard that bharat was the golden word india was the golden bird right bharat sone ki chidiya thi it was but now it is not i believe because the worship of sun god declined because you see sun god being the king of all the planets right as you worship sun god all the planets give good result to you and person have good fortune and as indians stopped doing it seems like that the fortunes have or in fact people stopped doing it the fortune of the place started diminishing is my personal opinion certainly but with people what i have seen that for sun worship two major benefits are there freedom from diseases sun worship primarily gives you abolishment of sins freedom from sins bad karmas sun worship also gives you so most incurable of diseases are vanished once you worship sun god heinous crimes are abolished as you worship the sun god so these are the primary benefits of sun worship apart from that now what happens that if a planet is good but weak you can wear the gemstone of the planet but what if the planet is not beneficial for you you still have to remedy the planet if the planet is bad result giving you still have to remedy the planet or if the planet is weak you still have to remedy the planet but you cannot wear the gemstone in that scenario mantra chanting you can do but mantra chanting is not for everyone then keeping in mind that spiritual remedies are the only remedies which can karmically work upon you visiting temple is one of the best remedy so for sun god and any problem related to sun in the horoscope whether the sun dasha is running then you should surely visit sun temple right 
bad sun transit is happening you should visit sun temple to sun transit once once a month so that this frequently you can only do when you live nearby apart from that if if sun is making bad combinations in the horoscope if situated in bad houses in the horoscope if afflicting major planets in the horoscope then going to the sun temple as a pilgrimage using the method i have told before will be highly beneficial now sun temples are very few sun temples are very limited throughout india but major of them i am mentioning in this particular video so that you can go there and be benefited there is a mountain known by the name of sri suri pahad it is somewhere around guwahati now the thing is you see when you have to worship planets and you cannot find the idol of the planets which were frequently made in earlier times nowadays it is not made you worship the planets in shivling right you imagine the shivling to be the idol of planets and you worship them there in this suri pahar people have witnessed that 99999 shivlingas are there right and this primarily this place belongs to sun god now it is in ruins worship cannot be there right worship is not actively performed there you cannot worship there but visiting it will be a very divine experience and as i will tell later as i will tell later in the video that primarily sun temples are situated in varanasi right varanasi is the city which is considered the city of shiva so shiva and surya are very intricately connected and owing to that particular reason if there is one place that i have to definitely recommend you visiting is the sri suri pahad in gopal park near guwahati and one more thing is there that if the sun is situated in aries or leo or makes any connection with aries and leo in rashi or navamsh then this sri suri pahad you should absolutely visit because it is on the top of the mountain and it will exactly remedy this you see ancient times there was a city named prag jyotishpur now prag jyotishpur jyotish you see astrology and prag means the ancient seat of astrological learning and it is believed that this sri suri pahad was in prag jyotishpur all itself so astrologers and people who are wishing to learn astrology but are not able to make proper progress should go to sri suri pahad it will be highly beneficial in fact any person who is trying to learn astrology trying to do good in astrology should absolutely visit at least one sun temple per year for minimum of 3 years if they want to progress in kalika puran sri suri pahad is mentioned and you see many temples are not mentioned in puranas as such but later puranas such as kalika puran mentions them very prominently and keeping in mind that this fact that the jagannath temple of puri is also primarily mentioned in kalika puran the suri pahad gets extreme importance right so sri suri pahad should be visited and in sri suri pahad there is a slab there is a slab of stone with 12 petals into it and these 12 petals have craved idols of different forms of sun god dhata mitra yama rudra varun surya bhag vivaswan pushan savitri dushta vishnu these 12 form of sun gods are craved into that stone piece right these are the 12 different avatars incarnations of lord surya as there are dasha avatar for lord vishnu now you see these nakshatras prominently feature between magha to mula in the horoscope so if you have sun in your horoscope anywhere between leo to scorpio sri suri pahad you should absolutely visit right this will be very beautiful this will be very good remedy for you and most importantly there is a very prime idol of a 12 handed lord vishnu at the place some people also take it to be an idol of goddess mansa the the mother of rahu and ketu so if rahu and ketu is afflicting your son then this temple is an absolute visit for you this temple you should visit now apart from that there is a dev surya mandir in a in a place there is a place in aurangabad and bihar our sun temple is there 
this sun temple also should be visited the speciality with the sun temple is that here the sun god is west facing so this temple is for setting sun and it is believed that lord vishwakarma the architect of gods himself made the temple and there is a kund there is a pond nearby as well now i will tell you to relieve from a disease right bathing if there is a temple with a prominent pond nearby and you take bath in the pond and then you visit the temple the complete bath is not necessary woman can take a glass of water and pour over the head this much also is enough taking bath in the pond and then visiting the temple and doing it all 3 days till you remain there is a very good remedy to free from diseases so because the prominent pond is there in the suri mandir in the deo district of uh, this deo village of aurangabad district in bihar for coming out of health issues this temple is very good that is one point secondarily setting sun if you see this is the sun of the seventh house and near seventh house now regarding combustion see combustion is known and known as us and astrological world knows that Ast planet is a combust planet, but seventh house is also known as ast house, and any planet situated in the seventh house should also be is also taken as an ast planet. I will not say that this works like a combust planet, but absolutely because it is ast that means a setting. A planet situated in the seventh house generally in their dasha antar dasha can cause downfall of the native, provided the fact that it is afflicted. of course the result cannot be attributed to the seventh lord and one more thing is that if a planet is situated in the seventh house then because of the significations of that planet one can fall one can face downfall as well so people who are suffering from downfall the surya mandir is an absolute necessity for them sun in the seventh house will generally make a balarishta combination that will give you bad health the so sun in the 7th house or near 7th house in 8th house and 6th house where also because sun is near setting and it is about to make the balarishta yoga or have just finished making balarishta yoga gives health problem right sun in the 6th 7th house will give health problems and to come out of these health problems the suri mandir in aurangabad district of bihar is an absolute necessity to visit and because it is having an attached pond the significance the signification increases so there you should absolutely visit there is a sun temple in mudhera in gujarat also that sun temple is now in ruins so you cannot worship the sun god there but there is uttrarth mahotsav that is celebrated in the third week of january in the temple dance you know classical indian dances performed there just to recreate how the temple was there so every temple have a natya mandap and in that natya mandap generally people showing their devotion to god sing and dance for god right so this concept of natya mandap this is this is from vastu right this concept of natya mandap is recreated in this particular festival and you see hmm. sun when it is connected to 11th house aspecting 11th house situated in the 11th house with 11th lord gives one great interest in music right can make one musician also that goes with sun in the third house also right can make one a great musician so if someone is wanting to make their career in arts and is not able to succeed or anyone who is having sun connected to third house or 11th house or their lords should absolutely visit modera sun temple in gujarat and because you cannot worship there the uttrak mahotsav in the third week of january absolute you should attend and it will be very good for you now out of all of these temples now i am talking of some of the temples where the worship is very prominent one such temple is arsavalli sun temple in andhra pradesh now this temple is made in rekha devala style of architecture which is also the architecture of jagannath puri right so first of all fourth house sun sun related to fourth house generally gives you a very unstable life where you may have things in your life but you are not able to enjoy it right because because sun always keeps on traveling right sun always keeps on moving and when this sun comes to fourth house fourth house is the house of home it generally indicates that person despite having a home 
lives a life of constant travels because of which he cannot enjoy his home and in a larger perspective sun in the fourth house gives you the tendency that though you have everything you don't have time to enjoy it and if this is happening with you then this arasavalli sun temple is must visit also keeping in mind that this is one of the oldest sun temple in india and also that worship is still active here you should visit visit for sure and another important point is that sage kashyap now sun is considered to be of kashyap gotra so for that matter uh, sage kashyap can be taken as the father of sun god to so sage kashyap established the sun idol in this arasavalli sun temple keeping this in mind because 9th house and 10th house indicates lineage if sun is connected to 9th house or 10th house then going to this temple is extremely therapeutic in fact if someone does not know about their kul devi kul devata and want to know about them because sun emits light and in that light you come to know about things you want to know about your kul devi and kul devata you should visit arasavalli sun temple and i firmly believe that after two three times of visiting you will get good hints to find your kul devi kul devata specifically also keeping in mind that the temple architecture is as such that in uttarayan and dakshinayan when the uttarayan and dakshinayan is starting at that point of time between 9 to 11th of march and 1st to 3rd of october the temple setting is as such that early morning sun rays fall at the feet of the deity even if the doors are closed so to get light guidance guru in life and to know about things which you wanted to know since long arasavalli sun temple visiting is a miraculous boon that you will have there is a navalakha temple in gujarat also one of the eldest sun temple in gujarat there also one can visit right so if you are going in gujarat and you are going in madhera then this temple also you can visit though not an absolute necessity i will say but you can visit in anantanag in jammu kashmir martand sun temple is there then temple is in ruins as such worship is not active there but this martand sun temple is also a very active temple so this also you can visit talking of sun temples there is adittapuram sun temple in kerala in kottayam and this sun temple is most active one of the most active sun temples it is very powerful so powerful that it is believed that sun god was installed here in treta yuga right so in treta yuga the sun temple was sun the lord sun was installed right the temple though should have been created and recreated much later also but first of all that the deity is very ancient right the story goes that a namudri brahmin from kerala was performing deep meditation to please sun god pleased by his devotion sun god appeared to him and told him to make a temple so he made the temple and from that time onwards the pujas and rituals started and now still to this day the descendants of the same namudri brahmin are told to be the head priest of the temple so it is an active worship since very long and out of all of the sun temples this is one of the most powerful ones so there absolutely you should visit and because kerala is told to is told to emerge out of sea after lord lord parshuram threw his axe in the sea so if venus is connected to sun or sun is afflicting venus in any way then adittapuram sun temple is one of the best remedy here also because you see venus is the natural significator of the seventh house and here also the idol is facing facing the western direction so sun in the 7th house or sun near the 7th house apart from sun being connected with venus this temple is one of the greatest place to visit i will tell you specific thing is that the lord idol of the lord sun god is in a meditative posture at this place and it is made up of such a stone that when the oil is poured over the idol when the abhishekam is done from oil on the idol 
the complete oil the idol soaks this is same as the bhairava temple of ujjain right where when we give alcohol to the deity the idol actually drinks the alcohol in the same manner here the idol of sun god actually drinks or absorbs the oil so you see it is a very mysterious and a very active temple as such that it is very excellent for this particular purpose and the point is that the idol of sun god is having chakra shank in the upper two hands and tapo mudra is there so with the shank and with the chakra here the sun god is made like narayan so the particular thing that i told in the starting that lord that sri shankaracharya divided the complete hinduism into panchayatan worship so in that panchayatan worship lord surya is taken as suri narayan right so leo ascendant people right because you should please your lagna lord leo ascendant people people having sun in lagna if they worship sun god in the form of suri narayan it will be highly beneficial for them so these people should pay an absolute visit to the temple this particular thing is there and another thing is generally when there is a sun temple there will also be navagrahas around it navagraha temple will also be around there but in this adityapuram sun temple there are no navagraha temples at all so it is a pure temple for sun god so there one should visit and if anyone is having eye related issues or skin related issues aditya puja is performed there that should be performed apart from that udaya astamana puja and oil abhishekam bhagavati puja and navagraha puja etc is also performed so that can be performed adi navidyam and rakta chandan samarpanam red red sandalwood samarpanam is also done to get cure from diseases that that you can also offer that will be very beneficial and apart from sun god devi yakshini is also present in the temple so you see yakshini is represented by venus and i already told you sun venus combination adityapuram sun temple is very good and specifically the deity yakshini there if one is having sun in capricorn aquarius aries or scorpio or sorry if one is having venus in aries or scorpio capricorn aquarius or venus connected to mars or saturn then adityapuram sun temple also because it have a yakshini devi idol there as well is an absolute visit in madhkhada in madhya pradesh also there is a sun temple in this sun temple the dashavatar or 10 incarnations of lord vishnu are also made so for leo ascendant people and people having sun in the ascendant as i told that sun lord sun should be worshiped in the form of sri surya narayan for them visiting sun temple in madhya pradesh will be very very beneficial in odisha apart from konark there is virinchi narayan temple as well in this virinchi narayan temple also sun god because the name is virinchi narayan the sun god is also present in the form of lord narayan so leo ascendant people sun in uh, sun in ascendant people this is the third third option for you i am giving you multiple options so that whichever temples seem suitable to you close to your place that you can visit another temple is surinar kovil in tamil nadu this is once again one of the most prominent and active temples of sun god so there also you can visit the special point here is that in surinar in surinar kovil in tamil nadu sun is with his two wives usha devi and pratyusha devi also so sun connected to seventh house seventh lord sun creating problems in marriage this temple will be a great relief for these people for whom sun is creating problems in marriage also there are separate trines for eight planetary deities apart from sun as well so surinarayan surinar kovil is not only for sun god but is for other planets also so surinar kovil you go it is like remedying the complete horoscope it is believed that the planetary deities was caused by lord brahma to dwell in 
వెళ్ళు రుక్కో మనం రైట్ దట్ మీన్స్ వైట్ వైల్డ్ ఫ్లవర్ జంగల్ అండ్ బై ద బ్లెస్సింగ్స్ ఆఫ్ లార్డ్ శివ దేవర్ కర్స్డ్ ఆఫ్ దర్స్ బట్ దే రిమెయిన్ సీటెడ్ దేర్ టు బ్లెస్ దేర్ డెవోటీస్ రైట్ సో ద థింగ్ ఈస్ దట్ సేజ్ కాల వాస్ సఫరింగ్ ఫ్రమ్ సీరియస్ ఎలిమెంట్స్ అలాంగ్ విత్ లిప్రసీ he prayed to the navagrahas the navagrahas were pleased and they cured the sage but lord brahma became furious because he gave the disease to the sage and planets cured it so lord brahma caused planets to suffer leprosy and remain trapped in this velurukkovanam the planets prayed to lord shiva lord shiva relieved them from curse and gave them the blessing that a form of yours will be at this place and anyone who will come to this place will get freedom from diseases so people suffering from diseases son in the sixth house and connected to sixth lord son giving diseases should absolutely come to this temple and worship the navagrahas and specifically sun god in this temple and there will be great miraculous results most importantly as i told in the starting that generally when navagrahas are worshiped they are worshiped in shivaling but in this particular temple shiva is not the presiding deity generally if there are navagrahas and shiva is also present in the temple shiva will be the presiding deity but here the planets are the presiding deity so this is speciality with this temple actually katramal temple is also there in almoda uttarakhand that katramal temple is also katarmal temple katramal temple whatever you can say katarmal should be the name that is also very brilliant sun temple so people living in uttarakhand nearby uttarakhand katarmal they should visit and katarmal is a group of 44 other temples also and visiting this temple is very spiritual divine experience so anyone who have sun connected to fifth house or ninth house once again where sun indicates divinity and those who want want to experience something divine katarmal is the place where you should visit divine experience if you want only then it is the thing konark sun temple in odisha very very famous very popular now in konark sun temple of odisha worship is not performed so you can visit here you cannot worship but the same process of you know staying there for 3 days absolutely applies however taking the photo keep it, keeping it at your place of worship and imagining as if you are in in konark that this should not be done but other things apply most importantly konark comes from two word kona plus ark <coughs> ark is the name of the sun god kona is a name for saturn so sun going into capricorn aquarius sun connected to saturn sun saturn combination which is very dreaded for this particular combination konark sun temple is an absolute visit the temple is like the chariot of the sun god is made in stones the temple was twice the height of what is now present though the worship is not offered here but many great tantrics and spiritualists of 18th 19th century have been a frequent visitor to this place so people wanting to progress in tantra vaidik vidyas vaidik sciences and people having sun connected to saturn in rashi navam suspected by saturn conjoined with saturn sun in the rashi of saturn should absolutely visit konark sun temple and this is very miraculous these people as per my experience and also those people who are having saturnian ascendant capricorn aquarius or moon in uh, the rashis of saturn when they visit konark sun temple at least three times by the third time they get great guidance in life and you know this particular thing that what i am here to do this question is generally answered for them so konark sun temple of odisha is also something where you should absolutely visit as i told you in the beginning that shiva is deeply connected with sun god right in varanasi there are sun temples varanasi is considered the abode of shiva and sun temples are there 
out of these sun temples, few sun temples are very prominent. For a complete sun remedy, I will recommend you to go to Banaras and visit all of these sun temples one by one in any order or any one of them as per your wish. And this will be very miraculous. So any type of sun related issue, these are very good. Yamadit is there. It is believed to be installed by Yamaraj itself. So go to Shankarghat, take a bath, worship Yamadit. The person never goes to hell. If you visit here on a Tuesday when the moon is in Bharni Nakshatra and Titi is Chaturdashi and you perform a Pitru Tarapan, therefore any type of Pitru Dosham, this is one of the best thing that you can do. And as you know that Yamaraj is the son of the sun god. If sun is connected to fifth house, fifth lord or sun is creating any problem in childbirth, then visiting Yam Adit is best. Vridh Adit is another temple. An old man was worshipping Lord Surya. When Lord Surya appeared, he asked Lord Surya that I am old, I have no power, I want power from you. He was worshipping Lord Surya in front of Vishalakshi Devi temple. Vishalakshi Devi is that goddess which gave astrology to my ancestors and is considered a Sakti Peet as well. So at that place where he worshipped the sun god, their Vridhadita temple is there. And those who believe that they are feeling powerless, having general debility, weakness, which will generally happen when Saturn is connected to the Ascendant, the Ascendant is in Saturnian Rashi, Moon is in Saturnian Rashi, or Sun is afflicting the Ascendant or the Sixth House. Then visiting with the Aditya, worshipping with the Aditya is very good, one becomes energetic like a young man. Another thing is Vimal Aditya. Vimal was a, was a person suffering with leprosy. As per the blessings of Sun God, with the blessings of Sun God, he recovered out of the disease. At this place where Vimal Adit is situated there, at that place, Lord Surya appeared in front of him. That's why that place is named, that place is having Vimal Adit temple. So health problems you are having, Vimal Adit temple is where you have to visit. Uttrar Adit is also there. Uttrar Adit, there was a person by the name of Priyavrat who was living in Varanasi with his wife and his daughter. His daughter was suddenly born with Mula Nakshatra, Bhukta Mula and was having Jupiter in her fourth house. When she grew up, his mother and father became worried about her marriage and because of this worry, they died. This lady started worshipping Lord Surya and at that place, one goat also used to come who used to drink water from a nearby pond and was a very good goat actually, very decent goat, never disturbed the lady. Once Lord Shiva and Parvati was traveling from the place, they witnessed the penance of this lady, became very pleased, told her to ask for a wish. She said that I want that the goat should get the wish. Lord Parvati was very pleased, uh, Goddess Parvati was very pleased, the lady was made a Sakhi a friend of goddess, a servant of goddess Parvati and the goat was blessed to be a child of the king of Varanasi. That pond from where the goat was drinking is known as Bakariya pond and nearby it, there is Uttarar Kaditya. So anyone who is suffering from bad luck due to sun afflicting the ninth house, ninth lord should visit Uttarar Kaditya and for sure their fortunes will turn for better. Next is Samb Aditya. Samb was descendant of Lord Krishna. Once Lord Narad visited Lord Krishna, everyone paid good attention to Lord Narad, Sage Narad, but this. Samb did not pay attention to Lord. Lord Narad complained of it to Sri Krishna. Okay, complaint happened, all good. And the complaint was as such that Sambi is very beautiful. Woman should be, you know, woman should be dying to you know, meet with Samb and you know, be attracted towards Samb. This episode happened all okay. Lord Narad went. Another time Lord Narad came. Samb was there. Sri Krishna was in his private chambers with some queens. Lord Narad, knowing the situation, told Samb to 
go and tell Lord Krishna that he have came. Though Sam was hesitant, but he was also afraid that because previously also Sage Narada was angry, he entered the room and because Krishna was not in a good position, Krishna became very Krishna became very furious. And because Narada also depicted the story as that all the women ran away because Sam is so beautiful and all sort of things, Lord Krishna caused Sam to suffer with leprosy. Sam told the reality. Sage Narad also told the reality and as a result of it, Lord Krishna gave him the remedy of going to Varanasi and worshipping Lord Surya. The place where Lord Samba worshipped uh, Lord, we should say because he is descendant of Krishna. The place where Lord Samba worshipped Lord Surya there is a pond there known by the name of Sambakund. So one should go to the Sam, Sambakund on any time they can go, but specifically if they go in Sunday morning, take a bath there. Then freedom from disease is the result. If you are not having children, then getting child is the result. And women who fear break in marriage or death of their husband, then taking bath in Sambakund is the ultimate remedy. There you should visit. Mayuka Atit is there. What happened once Lord Surya installed Shivaling by the name of Gavastiswar and Devi idol by the name of Mangala Gauri in Panchiganga Ghat and started immensely praying Shiva and Parvati there. Because Sh Sh Surya was praying and prayer penance gives tapas, Lord Surya was becoming heated up. And because of that heat, it became bearable to people and the world came to a standstill. Lord Shiva and Parvati came. Lord Shiva touched Surya. He started becoming calm. Became pleased by him. Now, this complete episode happened at this place. So Mayuk means the same thing, right? Blazing light, effulgence, it indicates. And because the penance Lord Surya did at this place itself, a temple is present there by the name of Mayuk Aditya. If one goes to Mayuk Aditya on a Sunday, they never fall ill. So health related problems if sun God is causing and you see because sun is the natural significator of the first house, sun naturally signifies good health. So Mayuk, sun connected to sixth house, sixth lot, sun giving any kind of disease. Dasha Antar Dasha of sun is running, go to Mayuk Aditya, offer your prayers there and it will be highly beneficial. Lolar Kajit is also there. Near Assi Ganga Sangam, there is Lolar Kund. Previously, it was believed that the river Assi and Ganga met there. The name Varanasi comes from the word, the, the river Assi itself because Assi flows from that river. The name Varanasi or Varanasi is there. Right. Now there is only pond. Near that pond, Lolar Kajit is there. So in the month of Magha, that is between December to January, right, when sun is in Sagittarius, on 6th or 7th Tithi, if you go there, and if that is also coinciding with a Sunday, and if you worship Lord Surya near Lolar Kund, then all your wishes and desires will be fulfilled. All sins will be cleansed away. So to live peacefully in Kali Yuga, this is one of the essential remedy that you should do. Next temple is Kakhul Kaditya. Vinita was the mother of Garud. But Vinita was cheated by her sister Kadru and made a slave. So the complete episode went by. I am not going into the story. But after the complete episode was over, Vinita was thinking that I suffered this much only because of some past life sins. So to abolish the sin, I should worship gods and get relieved from the sin. So for that purpose, Lord Garuda came to Varanasi with his mother, installed a shivling and there Shri Vinita, Goddess Vinita started worshipping Lord Surya in the form of Kakol Kaditya to abolish her sins. At this place, Kakol Kaditya temple is there and if someone is forced to live in a compromised situation either because of sun or because of some past life sins, come to Kakol Kaditya and your suffering will soon be alleviated. Another place is Kesha Aditya. Once Lord Vishnu was worshipping Shiva in Varanasi. 
Lord Surya came to witness it. And Lord Surya, who was a devotee of Lord Keshav, Lord Vishnu, asked him that the whole world worships you. Why you are worshipping Shiva? Sri Vishnu said that for Kashi, Shiva is the deity and anyone who comes to Kashi have to worship Shiva. That's why I am worshipping. Because at this place, Lord Surya get the knowledge from Lord Vishnu, also known as Keshav. This place is known as Keshav Aditya. Padodak Tirtham is there. I already told you that if there is a pond nearby, for example, Padodak Pond is nearby Keshav Aditya. First of all, take bath in the pond, then visit the temple to clear sins and get rid from diseases. It is the best thing to do. Right? So you do it, you get rid of sins, specifically in the month of Magha, on Saptami Tithi, coinciding with Sunday, if you do this, take bath in Padodak Tirtham and worship Keshav Aditya, abolishment from sins and specifically getting knowledge will be there. So children are struggling with studies. People wanting to make progress in academic disciplines should absolutely visit Keshav Aditya. And ultimately you will go to Varanasi. You will not worship Patat Pavani, Goddess Ganga. How it will be. Patat Pavani means she gives relief to the fallen people. Worst sins you have committed, you worship Goddess Ganga, you will be abolished of your sins. Ganga Aditya is there. That's a place from where Lord Shiva standed and worshipped Mother Ganga. So go to Ganga River, go to Varanasi, take bath in Ganga River and worship Ganga Aditya. If sun is in 6th, 8th, 12th house, indicating any kind of misfortune, mishap, accident, cheating, or you have been cheated or met with an accident, that is because of some past life bad karma, go to Ganga Aditya, worship there, and as Patat Pavani relieves one from the sins, visiting Ganga Aditya will also relieve you from the sins and make sure that such mishap does not happen again with you. Temples in India are many. But for Sun God, because Sur is Prataksha Devata, you can directly visit the temple of Sun God. And as I told in the starting, the importance of worshipping the Sun God, these temples you should not miss.